Good morning, beautiful people. So I have a couple minutes at the uh, terminal. <laughs> I have a couple hours available to me, free as far as uh, me getting to my 90 and on time and how much free time I have today. So I figured I'd do a quick drop in hook procedure. If, there's, if you know anything about me, you know I am a systematic type of person. I like to have a certain system and a certain way that I do things, okay? Excuse me, all of this. I haven't had any coffee yet. I'm waiting to get a Loves. After I leave here, first Loves, we're gonna see if they have the cappuccino machine. Anyways, um, I like to have a certain system, a certain way that I do things all the time, so I'm not doing it a new way all the time, uh, leaving myself prone to forgetting things. I like to have a certain way that I do things, just a systematic type of person, right? So, I wanted to get my drop and hook system um, now understand this I'll try to include everything in the set understand I'm not picking up a load I'm picking up a loaded trailer it went to a trailer shop right so don't expect I'm gonna leave out the seal make sure your seal matches check your weight those are things that are uh, specifically you know relate to uh, a drop and hook procedure as you're picking up a load but this is just so maybe I should call this coupling and uncoupling to and from a trailer. That's what I should say. So I'm coupling to a trailer, really. That's what I should say. This is my system for coupling to a trailer. Um, and maybe I'll bring you along for the inspection. All right. Okay, first thing is this. As I back up to the trailer, I backed up pretty close. As I back up to the trailer, I'm looking in this top mirror. And what I want to... What I want to see is, does this trailer look about the same height as it usually does when I am backing up to a trailer? What I mean is, if it is too high, it can cause me to add another, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes, right? Another way you can uh, check is, while you're backing up, if you don't feel the tractor lift the trailer at all, see, I just felt the tension of my tractor pushing under the trailer. If you don't feel that, that's a problem, all right? Don't keep going and check it out. You should not have to back all the way to the trailer before you feel the tension of the tractor touching the trailer. You should feel it before you get there. As a matter of fact, here's where you should feel it. All right, so the reefer unit just cut on. Here's where you should feel it. If you need to get out and look, get out and look. Y'all see that? That ain't no good. If you need to get out and look, get out and look and uh, make sure there is no gap between your skid plate and the actual trailer, all right? After that, get back in the truck, push it back. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get back in the truck, we're gonna push it back. I'm just putting it in reverse, going straight back. I don't be banging it, you know, I just try to just touch it, man. Just touch it. I mean, you gotta touch it a little quicker than half of a mile an hour, but you don't have to touch it doing three miles an hour. See, like, that was still a little forceful. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't forceful, though. Next thing I do is I put a glove on because I don't like the interior of my truck being dirty. All right. Oh, forgot my flashlight. I'm trying to do it with a camera in my hand. Should have put the camera on my head, but I thought about it too, I just didn't. All right, next thing before I do anything else is I want to ensure that my locking jaw is secure around my kingpin. Can y'all see that? Locking jaw is secure on the kingpin. Okay, next thing I do is I hook up my air and electric lines. Let's see if I can do this one handed. All right, nope, I can't. So y'all hold on. Next thing I did was I made sure my air and electric lines were not touching my catwalk. Um, just to 
Make sure we don't have any accidents. We can talk about that later. Another thing I always do while I'm here is check my temperature. Make sure temperature is straight. It's just a habit, to be honest with you. All right. Once you have the lines hooked up, next thing you want to do is send air to your trailer. Push in your trailer air supply valve. Why? Because, well, it's not going to mean anything if your truck shuts down. Give me a sec. There we go. Okay, start sending air to your trailer. Why? Number one, if your landing gear is still on the ground, sending air to your trailer is going to everything one-handed. Sending air to your oh, sending air to your trailer is going to uh, start lifting the bags under the trailer, like the airbags, just like those are on my tractor. I don't know if you can see that bag right there. Um, it's going to start sending air to your trailer. It starts sending air to your trailer. It starts lifting it up. Even a little bit sometimes will make, you know, lifting the landing gear a lot easier. So start sending air to your trailer before you crank the landing gear. And as well, because you need air in your trailer anyway, you might as well start now. All right. All right. So we got that done. How you doing, bro? So we got that done. Now, we're going to do a quick inspection, and then we're going to be off. Okay, so, anyways, it's, uh, it's been nice. I spent, I spent the evening at the terminal, and, uh, pretty, pretty cool, man. Got to run into a few people. Uh, give me a second, man. Ain't easy trying to hold your camera do everything else at the same time spent the evening here got to run into a few people including doing a live with junior honduras if you saw that so that was fun it was really cool meeting a man uh i can say you know let's keep it real i mean a lot of people know it you meet some of these youtubers man and like they are not who they are on camera junior is who he is man Junior is who he is. Give me a sec, man. Let me let me get this done so we can get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Junior, so that was super cool. Let's get a flashlight here. Um, got to hang out with him. Got to do that live. Some of this truck I've already checked, so I'm not redoing it just to redo it. You know what I mean? One thing, always check during your pre-trip is check out the fuel, man. Make sure you're good to go, dude. Um, I don't know. It seems to be one thing I notice a lot of people don't look over, man um i know they just changed the tires we're gonna check yep they fixed that pin that pin so one of the things they had to fix was this little tandem pin y'all remember i was talking about sliding the tandems that was broken so that's good that's good yeah man but i got to hang out with junior and uh just checking all the chambers all the discs did you know our trailers have disc brakes a lot of people don't think they have disc brakes. I don't know why. I've said that like two people and they were like, what? Or I'll be like, do our trailers have disc brakes or drums? And they don't know. But anyways, um, and not all of them, but many of them do, especially the 2000 series. I think the 19s as well. I can't remember. So it was cool hanging out with Junior Honduras though, kicking it in the truck, doing the live with y'all, you know, it was cool for my one year, especially because that was the first time I met Junior, yeah. So, uh, that was really cool, man. Sorry, you can tell which one I'm paying attention to here. Uh, so, uh, it was fun, man. It was only for one night. Just checking the pins on this side too, because I know that's something they worked on, you know. It was fun for one night. 
but we got to keep advancing this load remember we dropped danielle off danielle got her own truck or is getting her own truck now so we riding solo that was a little bit different truck wasn't moving but it was peaceful too i'm not saying you know danielle be making a lot of noise but i'm just saying when you by yourself yo that junk is clutch uh i really uh anyways junk is clutch dog so uh anyways it was fun it was a good time uh but it's time to keep moving so what's next for you travis you know i'm taking my time here i plan on telling y'all extremely soon but uh until then we gotta keep working y'all we gotta keep working till then i'm grateful to be alive today and uh just check trailer lights. It's different when you check your truck, then go hook to your trailer and then check your trailer separately when like 99% of the time, every time you do a truck check, you check it all at once, you know? Hungry dog. <laughs> but uh yeah man, had a good time. I hadn't been in a terminal in months, man. So like, you know. For me, it was like, wow, man. I ain't been in a terminal so long, they don't even give you your lids anymore. You gotta get your own lid. Like, you used to walk up and be like, hey, can I have a lid, please? And they give you a lid because of COVID. They ain't want you touching all the lids. But now they just, you know, you get your own lid, cuz. <laughs> I was like, oh, we back in business, baby. We back in business. So, uh, it was cool, though. It was fun, man. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Wish I could have seen more people. Ben Lemon, wish we could have connected, man. Uh, but by the time me and Junior were done hanging out, man, I was beat. I wanted to call Christina and get it done, you know, so I could go on to sleep. But praise God. Hey, turn it up. Turn it up. I'm going to hit y'all with the good news very soon. Let me get out of here. You already know what the business is. Find you somebody to love. I love y'all. Don't forget, it's not about what you believe. It is why you believe it. And live free.